Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Princess Auto See at Work. My name is Dan Verville, and I'm here alongside, as always, by Mr. Derek Chalmers. Uh, you're in for a real treat today. We've got a fantastic product that you are going to see live in action, and that is the Red Rock Quick Assembly 27-ton log splitter. Derek, how are you feeling about this machine? It's going to be a lot of fun. That's all, that's all you're that's feeling, it. just let's, fun. Let's get to it. <laughs> <laughs> not much to it. We're splitting logs today, folks. It's that time of year. Spring is right around the corner. If it's not already spring where you are, here in Winnipeg, it's a balmy minus 12 today. We're in spring mode. Um, I was going to wear shorts. Didn't. Good thing, because we're thing. cutting wood. Yeah. Um, for those of you tuning in to see it work for the first time, just a reminder, please be sure to drop a question, a comment, anything uh, on whatever streaming service you're using to watch today's episode, and you can have a chance to take home a prize. Today, we are giving away that Forest King chainsaw right behind me. That could be yours if you are picked. Uh, at the end of the show, we're gonna pick one comment, one question that stood out, uh, and you will win a chainsaw to start cutting wood down, cutting wood down, cutting trees down, mm -hmm. not wood down, cutting oh, trees wood. down to split. Um, we have a special show today though. Not only are we looking at this great product, we also, we're, we brought in a special guest. That's right. Is it right? It is. It is right. That's we right. did bring in a special guest today. So, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the See at Work stage uh, a special guest host for today and for the future, Miss Amy Sinclair. <laughs> Woo! You can hear this, like, hey 17... Guys. Hey, Amy. Full studio audience. Welcome. Thank Full you so audience. much. Obviously, within COVID protocol, there's Obviously. two people here. We're all six yeah. feet apart. So it is all good. Amy, welcome to the show. Thank you. Warm welcome. Appreciate it. Yes. Yeah, so Amy will actually be taking over uh, the hosting duties from me as I step away for a couple of months. Three months to be exact, but who's counting? Um, so Amy, you're the host now. As Big of, shoes to fill. Well, not really. Let's be honest. Not really. So tell us a bit about yourself, Amy. I've been with Princess Auto for almost two years in April. Got a couple cats. Love doing renos. Spend a lot of time practicing social distancing, <laughs> sanitizing, and wearing a face mask. <laughs> That is the hobby that we all enjoy right now. <laughs> Just staying apart from one another. That's right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I love it. So yeah. Amy is actually the store leader at our Panet Road store, right. which is actually right beside our, our home office here in, in Winnipeg. Um, so that's great. Well, I'm glad you're a part of the show. Welcome to today's episode. Thank you. Uh, Amy's going to help us answer some questions. Uh, and we're going to let's talk about uh, the log splitter, the Red Rock Quick Assembly 27 ton log splitter. Yeah. Derek, you, you quick assembled this thing, did you I not? I did, yeah. We have some uh, B roll footage of that quick assembly just to kind of go through and show everybody how easy it is to uh, get it all set down and ready to split. Here it is. Yeah. So it comes, as you can see here, on a small vertical metal pallet. Um, there is one wheel and hub already assembled on it when you get it. And here, I'm just taking the uh, bolts out to uh, set the second one in place. That comes tethered to the unit. We get it all lined up. Um, there's two bolts to put in and torque down. Need to, uh, sometimes with the paint and powder coat that these units come on, we have to kind of guide the bolts in a little bit. So we're going to give them a little tap here to set them in. 26 ounce ball peen hammer. That's right. Yeah, yeah, pro deal. point. Pro point. Yep. Yep. <laughs> so we get them all tightened up there. And uh, that, at that point, we can finish unwrapping everything. And um, the uh, frame at that point is basically built. Um, there is oil in it. Um, in the uh, hydraulic tank there that is right That's next awesome. to the in between the two wheels. You do have to add motor oil and gasoline after you're done. So then we're just going to lower it down here. The uh, jack for that is already assembled, so we just make sure it's down so we can let it rest on the jack. We'll pull it around. And there is a, a large guide pin bracket that we have to kind of get it lined up with. I feel like I was there with you, even though I clearly was not. You were not. No. No. <laughs> no that was well, it's fine. It's, you were busy. It's that quick assembly. Said Derek can yeah, probably handle it's it. not a problem. That's <laughs> fine. I would still be assembling this today. That's fine. No, it's fine. So we get the pins out, get everything lined up. To pull the uh, frame a little bit forward there, so I can see we're going to take that pin and guide it in. And we loosen off the bracketry to uh, get the beam accessible. And there is a strap that is still tethered to the unit. You put your foot down on that strap to hold the tongue from rising up while you're lowering the unit back down. That's a big moment right there. That is, yep. And uh, get the large guide pin drifted in there and secured. It's rubber mallet in case you're wondering, folks yep. at home. And the uh, handle is already mounted to the uh, spool valve, but we just have to swing it up and put a pin in it. And then we uh, hook up our lines to the uh, filter body, the pump and the um, return line. Check the oil level and away you go. I put some cardboard down there. There'll yeah. be a little bit of spillage because the oil is, uh, the system is charged with oil, the hydraulic system. And uh, then we, uh, just as we're getting ready to do the uh, final uh, fluid top up, we're going to cycle the, um, the motor just by pulling the uh, cord a few times 
and allowing the uh, fluid to run through the system. And uh, that's basically it. And that's it. And fire it up and spit to your heart's content. And that's a quick assembly. That's a quick that's assembly. A quick assembly because, so let's, let's put it in perspective. Right. Building one of these not set up like that, right. how long does that take? Uh, well, it used to take quite a while because it used to come in a large crate, so everything was separate. You'd have to take the wheels and you'd have to assemble them onto the hubs. You'd have to take the uh, frame and the beam. You'd have to lift that on manually and then put all the other components on separately, the hoses and whatnot. So it, it would take, you know, about an hour or so and then you'd need a couple yeah. people or if you had to get a, you know, a lift or something, a forklift to lift the beam up because it was, you know, they're pretty heavy depending on the size, but um, this is a dream compared. Definitely. Well, yeah. let's uh, let's see it work. Let's fire it up. Uh, we got some sure. questions coming in. We'll answer those after we split a couple yeah. logs. Let's do cool. it. So yeah, I Amy's, fire it up. Amy's gonna fire it up. So Great. we'll put our I safety. I was never allowed to touch the engines or anything, but sure. It takes sure. a certain set of skills. It does. Man. It does. Well, let's get. I'm gonna get my safety gear safety on. Safety we'll put the safety so gear we'll, on. We'll do that. Yep. So eye protection, ear protection, and some gloves. I'd like to thank the team here for providing me with this logging material. <laughs> I'm ready to go to uh, Oregon to harvest some sequoias. <laughs> It's a good look. Thank you. Yeah. So I'm going to okay. walk us through like how it. we're doing I don't that. Like sure. it at all. <laughs> I don't like it at all. <laughs> and I might yell a little because I. Yeah, uh, we, you might okay. not be able to guess once this thing gets fired yep. up. Uh, Super it, safe. We should note the door in the back here. We have a big lift door. It's open, so any exhaust, it will flow right out. So we're being safe. So let's fire it up. All right. So you want to make sure your fuel is on, your choke is on. And then we're going to flip this switch. Ignition on, and I yeah. want to make sure that my torque is all the way to the bunny. So full, bunny. Yep. full bunny. Full <laughs> bunny. Full rabbit. Full rabbit. Yep. All right. We did it. Yep. We split it. Yep. We did and it. You can you Woo! can turn the throttle down too if you're uh, in between something or have to move some wood around. You can throttle it down to idle and then put back up to fast idle when you want to split. All right, we got it. We got some questions coming in, Derek. Here we go. I don't even sure. know where to begin. I don't know where to begin. Let's start here. Mark, uh, how much hydraulic oil is required? Uh, not a lot. You might want to have a little bit around just to do a top up and that's all dependent on how much you might spill out when you're putting the hoses. All the hoses are capped when it comes. Um, so you just have to be cognizant of the fact that if you have the hose open below the level, the highest level of the oil, it's probably going to flow out. Um, I think I had to top up maybe, you know, four or five ounces, very little, just to get it in the middle of the spectrum on the dipstick. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty easy to put together. Little bit, little bit of mess, but not a lot. How much does it weigh? Weight? I don't know off the top of my lot. head. I'd have to check. It, is, it weighs a it's lot. Quite a bit. Yeah. yeah. What about uh, the maintenance on it, Derek? What's that like for the wheels, the engine? What's yeah. that look like? Well, you? maintenance, so like any seasonal engine um, like this, maintenance would be um, oil changing every, uh, and it's all dependent on the amount of use. So if you're using it a lot, like if somebody's putting it into a, you know, a, a hobby where they're selling firewood or something like that, um, then I'd suggest maybe every 40 to 60 hours doing an yeah. oil change on it. Um, when you go to the hydraulic end of it, um, the seasonal fluid that's in here, uh, if it's going to be really cold where you're going to be splitting, then maybe look at something for uh, that temperature. But as it stands, um, again, you have a filter on the body uh, of the uh, return tank and um, that's just going to be going in. You could, you know, if you're going to be doing something on a hobby farm or a residential kind of environment where you're just splitting for your stove, then maybe just think about a seasonal change. Change the oil, yeah. uh, change the filter at minimum um, if you're not going to change the grade of the oil for the hydraulics. And then with the gasoline, as any small engine uh, would benefit from, is just high test fuel, premium fuel, with a fuel stabilizer in it. Okay. Yep. I do have a question do that uh, I think I might be able to answer. So Kevin is asking how large of a log we can do, how long? Mm -hmm. I want to say 26. That's right. That we said? Yep, yes. 26 nice. inches long. It was a planted question, perfect yeah, for me. No, it wasn't. It wasn't oh, planted, way, but thing, it's certainly one weighs, I know. This thing weighs 496 <laughs> pounds. That's just what I guessed. Uh, yeah. According to the website. Perfect. So, yes. <laughs> Another setup question. Love it. <laughs> like, Love it. We're getting a lot of questions come in, uh, Derek. Obviously, this has wheels. Yep. Obviously, this has a hitch. Yes. People asking, 
Okay, so is this towable on the road, just around the yard? What, what kind of? It's completely towable. Uh, maximum speed would be 70, mile, or 70 kilometers an hour. <laughs> Uh, not, not miles an hour, miles an hour. kilometers <laughs> an hour. Um, Safety first. The big thing is going to see your local uh, RM or your local municipality. They're going to tell you if it's legal or not to transport. At minimum, if it is legal to transport on a highway in your area, you'd have to put on lights. You'd have to have signals, brake lights uh, mounted to it, um, reflectors as well. Uh, and that's, again, all you know, dependent on the code of the province or the uh, territory that you're living in. Yeah. All of which we carry. That's yeah. true. Yep. You can trick out your, your logs. That's player. right. Absolutely. Absolutely. Awesome. Yep. If you're just tuning in right now, you're watching Princess Auto CEO. I'm Dan. This is Amy. That's Derek. Today we are looking at the Red Rock Quick Assembly 27 ton log splitter. Uh, we've already split one log. We got lots more logs to split. We actually have a whole cord out back. We're going to really fire it up today. I didn't tell Derek or Amy. <laughs> I got some wood from my house. And by my house, I mean my parents. I don't have that much wood at my house. Uh, okay. I live in the city. My parents live in the country. We got lots of wood out there. So, question. I know we're getting into my story now. That's not the time. Um, I remember splitting, splitting a, when I was younger. We used to like grease up mm -hmm. the track. Can you still do that with us? You can. You don't really have to. There's, there's allowances made for, um, for space, so it's not going to get bound up or anything like that. Um, you do want to make sure that when you're splitting, if you see some debris, um, you, know, you want to clean it out to just make sure everything's going to travel smoothly. Keep a stiff brush or some kind of a cleaning yeah. stick or something out there just to keep the grooves and the channels under here where the splitter head's going to travel through. Someone wants to know, can we put the log catcher on either side or is it one side only? Yeah. You can put it on either side. I mean, commonly it's going to be on the opposite side from where the spool is. So when you're operating the spool, you're going to pull the spool back. I would take this split piece, I would lay it on here, move things around, split it to smaller, depending on what you want to do. I mean, you're going to, obviously, these logs are pretty short for this unit, but it's cut to for a, a firebox size specific for a very small stove. And then you're going to split into, again, whatever size you're going to need for the application and then move it off to get seasoned, pile it up. Yep. We should also probably mention that you're going to want to be cutting it on yeah, this side. Yeah, you'd want to be yeah. standing on this side. We only did that, uh, Amy was standing on that side for uh, demonstration purposes. Yes. Yeah, you don't want to reach over uh, the right. moving hydraulics yeah. just to be safe. But, yeah. Um, yeah. Well, we, let's fire it up again. Let's finish splitting this. Sure. And uh, then we'll answer some more questions. Great. Let's make sure we all got to have our... Uh, this thing is super loud, especially here. It like, bounces off the ceiling. It's a little like, noisy. Here, in, here yeah. in Studio 52, as we call it. So we're going we're gonna to gear up. And once again, just want to thank everyone for providing me with this logging helmet. Safety it's, first. Thanks. It is great. And I don't know how much anyone can hear when this thing is running, on, when, if you're watching at home. So if you can't hear much, uh, you're just going to hear the sweet sounds of this log splitter right. for about the next minute and a half. All right. Well, let's let the professional step in this time. You want me to start <laughs> up? Sure. Could keep going. We got lots more. Lots we got, more. We got a whole cord. Okay. Yep. <laughs> no. So uh, another question uh, just came in, Derek. Uh, they, folks, obviously this is a uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Horizontal and vertical. That's right. So right now it's in the uh, horizontal position. There is a pin to pull just down here, and that way you can stand it up. So if you've got a really large piece of timber, um, or it's just really heavy wood, um, you can have it standing up. That way you don't have to lift it up drop it back down. You can just kind of pile it. Once it's done, push it off to the side, roll another stump in, and away you go. Just keep is, that hard, is that hard to do? Nope, not at all. So the red strap that I was using when I was installing it to keep the tongue down, if it's yeah. hooked up to a tractor or an ATV or something, it's obviously not going to you know, jump up on you, but you'd want to make sure that you're standing on that if we're in a static position like this unhooked from a vehicle. And then basically just pull the pin, hold onto the handle on the side of the top of the frame, guide it up, and it's right into place. So we got another question here. Tom is wondering how wide is it with the wheels? Wants to know if it's going to fit into the utility trailer to transport up to the cottage. There's tons that's of wood good, to cut up there. That's a good question. I would expect, just from looking at it, you're approximately four feet. So if you can take a four by eight sheet of plywood uh, travel with you, then you should be good to go. All right, cool. Well, there you go. Alan has a question. Alan wants to know, uh, we have an oak wood lot. 
on our farm. Very mm -hmm. fancy, Alan. Beside our house. Every year we have dead trees. Could this splitter handle large diameter oak? Yes, absolutely. Yep. yep. Not a problem. Yep. And I mean, if you're, <laughs> if you're into, um, you know, like some stands are really large, right? Yep. Um, we do offer a 40 ton as well. So if you feel that the 27 ton may not do it, um, you can always go to the larger unit. And that thing will split pretty much anything you can throw at it. So that will answer Eric's question in terms of how much bigger it gets. So that's yep. great. Awesome. There you go. Cool. Yes. We're yep. so efficient We're on today. A roll. We're so yeah, efficient. that's right. How much horsepower is this engine? Uh, our friend uh, had to ask. Let's see. One, uh, 196 is six and a half horsepower. Six and a half horse. Yeah, That's 196 Good trolling motor. Okay, cool. Let's cut some more wood. Cut what some else more you wood. got? You want to have a competition? Well, are we ready for a competition right now? It's up to you. Yeah, Dan, needs, Dan needs some practice, I think. I do. Like, I mean, I can, do you want, like, I can use the axe. You're going to use the axe. Oh, you're going to use the axe, <laughs> yeah. right? Well, then Amy should split that one first. All right. Okay. And then I will use the axe the, the old-fashioned way. Uh, someone asked a question, actually, and I think I know the answer to this, but Derek, I'll defer to you. Sure. Uh, the splitter, uh, do we have a, I don't know what it's called, the, to split it into four? We don't, but one is coming. It's coming. Currently, it's there not in the assortment, but it will be coming this year. Yeah. Yep. Great. Yeah, and that way you'll be able to split into four, and you don't have to start turning, and it's going to be a lot faster, especially if you have a large volume of wood to cut. Does it come with a muffler? It does. It has a muffler yes. installed. Um, it's basically the same, you know, six and a half to seven horsepower utility engine that we sell in the store and it comes on, you know, chippers, shredders, those kind of things. Yep. Okay. All right. Fire it up. Fire it up. Okay. Amy, that's your turn. Get my last glove. All right. So I'm never wearing this ever again. <laughs> ever. Whoa. Break a sweat. Nice. Yeah, it's um, good. There's something so peaceful about splitting wood. That's, it's so much fun. Well, um, can we set it up vertically? Sure. Can we do Absolutely. it? Let's yep. do it. I, some Let's folks were asking, hey, let's let's take a look at this vertically. Yep. Name of the show is See It Work. We'll show you. Cool. We'll show you. I'm going to back out of the we'll way. Show you. You're going to back out of the way. And Derek out. is going to show it's you. All right. <laughs> So you can see a little bit of smoke maybe, it's hard to see on the camera coming off of that, but all that is is the, um, the uh, muffler's just getting warm because it's just been run in for the first time here, so. It's called excitement. <laughs> does the spool have a, does the spool valve have a detent to hold it in? Uh, yes. This is the part of the show where we just bombard Derek with questions. That's right, as he That's right. well he does all the other stuff. I can pull that up. pin out. You got a pin in there? Yep. This okay. guy? Yep. Grayson is wondering what kind of hydraulic oil that this takes. Uh, this would come with something like a 32 grade. Okay. Is it still this? Is it this guy? Nope. It's this one here. And then does the splitter use one of the valves available off the shelves? Yes. Perfect. Yep. There you go, Cam. Once again, if you're just tuning in, you're watching See It Work. My name is Dan, that's Derek breaking stuff. This is Amy, our co-host slash host will be stepping in. Right now we're just setting this Red Rock easy, quick assembly 27 ton log splitter up vertically. So Amy, we can, can you some, move that to stuff some up vertical the splitting All action. All lumber? Yep. Yep, I gotcha, I gotcha. That's I'll good. take this thing. That's it. All right, clear. All right, uh, Chris wants to say hi to my old team members, Derek and Amy. Hi, Chris. <laughs> Shout out to Chris. Keegan is wondering if it has a kickoff valve. Sorry? Does it have a kickoff valve? Yes. Okay, perfect. How about the warranty? 
Warranty would be uh, one year for any kind of uh, hard parts in the store, and after that, we'd be able to help you with any kind of hydraulic hosing or any of the valving. That's right. Cool. Should we, can we split one like this? Sure. Okay, so should we turn it? Yep. So we can see it a bit better? Yeah. We get yep. to do that? Yep. Once again, uh, please feel free to fire in a question, anything uh, in the chat. Uh, you could actually, if, if your question or comment gets picked, you could walk away today with this beautiful chainsaw right behind me, which is kind of behind me and kind of blocked. So I'm going to get out of the way if people want to see the chainsaw. All right. And set up that shot. There it is, the Forest King 2-in-1. There it is. That's it. That's cool. That's the vertical. Pretty straightforward. <laughs> it's almost better when I don't have to lift it up. It's the horizontal. Same. Yeah, it's just, just a different straight way. up and down. That's straight right. up and down. All right, I got, how about another question? Sure. Jeff, does the splitter have attachments to make the wood into kindling? Uh, not currently, but it is coming in the assortment. Good question. Yep. Good question. And then, and then you could also buy a kindling cracker too. You could, yeah, kindling cracker. Those things are fun. Split them up. Yep. <laughs> And can the ram arm be set at different lengths or? No. Nope. Nope. Sorry. <laughs> nope, it is. Sorry, it's, it's a fixed length. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, uh, once again, you're watching See at Work. I'm Dan. This is Amy. That's Derek. Uh, I know it's just on me right now, but I showed the whole team here. Uh, we've got the Red Rock 27 ton quick assembly log splitter. Uh, fire in a question, a comment. Uh, we're going to be actually announcing a winner very shortly. So if you have a question or a comment, throw it in now. Uh, if we pick your name, you could be the lucky person to take home this wonderful two-in-one chainsaw kit, which is a lot heavier than it looks. <laughs> After I picked it up, I realized that. But there it is. So if you haven't had a chance to fire in a question, do it now, because you might not have a chance to win if you, uh, if you don't do that. So I know there, we talked about a bit of a contest earlier. Right. Um, so, what about, I, so Amy split. Uh, where's Amy's pieces? Let's, They're let's just back the over here. They're the professional ones yep. to the side. The professional yeah. ones. That's those. That's yeah, what those. they are. Nice That's and even. Right. Yeah. yeah. So now you want me to split one and try to match that quality? Sure. You can try. With yeah. The, I, I can try. It's very can try. Correct. Give you that. Thank you. I was kind of hoping we were going to split all of this stuff so I wouldn't have to do this. <laughs> Especially wearing this. <laughs> well, you know what? I'm going to use this one then. Probably way too close here. We're going to back up. Sure. Okay, I'm going to back up. Everybody back up. Yep. Thank you. All right. So this is not, I, I would highly suggest if you're in the market for, for, splitting, for splitting wood, don't buy an axe. Buy, <laughs> buy the Red Rock Quick Assembly 27 ton log splitter. Because this is, this is going to take forever. Come on, Dan. You got this. One. One. Just Stuck. hammer it. Nope, just hammer it. Hey. Use the axe, lift it up and break. Yeah, yeah. There you go. into time. the ground. Things are turning around. Uh, <laughs> Should have pre-cut this, there. All right. Amy yeah, wins. I think, I think Amy wins. Yeah. Yeah. Amy wins. Yeah, Amy wins. Everybody. Solid win. Perfect. Well, Amy. <laughs> There's people working next door, so you might want to. You know what? Everyone in the NCC, I want to apologize for the loudness <laughs> of that and the lack of a result. Um, that is terrible. <laughs> no, Amy. Well, you win. So uh, as your prize. You get to be the new host of uh, See at Work. Excellent. For the next three months. I look forward to it. Well, this is we're cool. very excited to have you on board. So thanks again for tuning in, everybody. Who won? Who won? Who won? Everyone won, Derek. I can't breathe right now. Everyone got to see me. The chainsaw. I know. Just catching my breath. You're <laughs> okay. Trying to delay. <laughs> You're fine. <laughs> You're very embarrassed. You're like, a young man. In the other in the other show we did, I split that thing one lick. Like this is brutal. Did and you? I brought special wood. Get that. rid of this. The winner is from Facebook. Nathan Duncan. Nathan, congratulations. You're going to take home the Forest King 2 and 1. And uh, hopefully, you're better using autograph the chainsaw. That log for him. Yeah, we're going to autograph for you. <laughs> Amy will autograph. I'll autograph it. Yeah. Yep. Thank you all once again for tuning in to see it work. On behalf of Derek and Amy, we'll see you next month.